What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Another sunny, beautiful day here in Tampa, Florida. Been getting it in, but that's not what we're talking about right now. I want to show you how Rita sleeps. My side, Rita's side. My side, Rita's side. Consumer of cover. Completely dominates everything. No, don't move your... Don't move your camera. We want to see the real you all the time. Let me zoom in a little bit. Consumer of cover. I sleep completely bare. She completely consumed. The only thing that <laughs> the only thing that this this is not truly displaying is the fact that she also sleeps diagonally. Completely. Anyways, uh, another opportunity to do great things. Not sure what's going to happen. I think I'm going to take a quick drive. That daily drive. Y'all ready to go on a daily drive? Go and stop at a 7-Eleven, a, a gas station, something like that. Go pick up some water and uh, kind of plot and plan out my day. Still got a lot of work to do and take care of, but I don't know. Let's go out and see what the vibes are. I'm liking Tampa so far. I'm liking Tampa in that it kind of reminds me of not a very, very high-paced city like New York and Miami and all of that, but it's high-paced enough to where you can truly enjoy the downtown. It got the nice suburbs. You can really get the best of both worlds, especially as an older person or a person that know it's not really trying to be out here as much in the streets like you can really pick and choose I guess you can do for anywhere right but then at the same time it's just like you get all of the weather without as much of the riffraff right because every major city to a larger extent is it's a it, it's a tale of two cities like you always gonna have the streets the ghettos all of that stuff and then you're gonna have the high life but with every extreme, like the high life, right? Let's just say the high life, for example, when it comes to Miami, there are some extremities when it comes to the ghetto aspect of things too. So yeah, I find um, I find Tampa to be really, really awesome in which I've never even really considered Tampa. And now that we're evaluating the possibility of moving down here, or not even, just moving down here but just moving the businesses and the whole nine yards and, and where we gonna have things set up and all of that process is, is is coming along i can't ignore it anymore i can't ignore this city and all of the awesomeness that comes along with it my plan on being out here tonight rita is going to be out here with me tonight i'm sure rita will probably be out here sleepy past a certain time and she she's laughing right now Rita's gonna be out here sleepy, but Rita is definitely probably gonna be out here with me tonight. So that'll be fun. We'll have some good times. We'll we'll entertain what the possibilities are long term, continuing to take everything into consideration. And uh, hopefully catch a vibe. This kind of remor uh, remind me of the Coral Gables area that we used to drive through when we was down in Miami a little bit with all of the trees. Nice. Oh, wow. You see that? Yo, you can't make this stuff up. Real time, and the water is right over there too. Yeah. But real time, you can't make this stuff up. That's why you always got to be aware, be aware. You always got to be on your game because you just never know when an a-hole will, will put everybody around them in danger in order to try to get around another truck. Yo, silly. But anyway, yeah, this this is this is definitely dope. I like it. I like it a lot. You like that one over there? Wow, that's sweet. Rita, I, I don't know about you, babe. What? What don't you know? Because you um vibes. Vibes, vibes, vibes. You um I know you in the houses probably a little bit more than I am. But I'm not into houses. I'm into maintenance-free lifestyle and living. So it's a little bit different for me. Uh -huh. Dope. We love.
love it. This is Rita's vibe. Rita, did you come down here and take a ride when I was up working yesterday? Uh, no, I didn't come down here. Is that what the, is that the, what the move was? Balconies, vibes, cool, quiet, calm, collected. And then you can head over to downtown or other places that some of the people that we was kicking it with at the uh, breakfast spot yesterday, they was telling us about some spots that we needed to tap into if we wanted to vibe out there. So, yeah, man, we love it out here. It's dope. I wonder what it's like um, in the wintertime compared to Miami. Because it's not as southern or it's not... Yeah, it's not as southern down there in Florida as Miami, I don't think. It's a little bit higher. Because I know during the winter, Orlando was a lot cooler than Miami. And so that's a big thing for me. If it's not as warm as it is in Miami, then Miami is definitely more or less the spot that I'll probably tap into before this place. So, yeah, it's really cool, though. I like it. It's dope. <laughs> What's the problem? Why are you recording, man? I'm always recording. <laughs> Why you turn around? Why are you running from the camera today, Rita? What's going on? Tell us. First of all, you was just dancing. Do your dance. I'm not camera ready. Do your dance. <laughs> that was your dance. <laughs> what a bad dance. See? It's all right. That's why you got to always be ready. I'm not ready either. I ain't shaved. I ain't did nothing. This bed ain't made up. Housekeeping. I got my own personal housekeeper. You want to see her? <laughs> How you even know I'm doing the camera at you? Is anybody else in here? It could be a picture or something. Whatever. You about to go down to the to the beach or whatever, to a pool. Mm -hmm. You know, Rita is like one big baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, women are like children to a larger extent. Like you have to nurture their needs and their wants and they high maintenance and they need a lot of love and care and dedication and diaper changing. Diaper changing. Okay, let me revise that. A lot of love and care and taking them to the um, store to get period stuff. It's like diaper changing. So. I got this chick that's next to me, right? I don't know who she is. I don't know where she came from. It's not my wife. She's just my chick. I tell y'all that all the time. <laughs> Everything that we talk about eating, possibly, even remotely, somehow it has to come back to salmon. I don't understand. Why are you so obsessed with salmon? Let us know. I don't know why I like salmon. It's just really good. I like it on my salad. I like it by itself. That's what you got? That's what um, you got? Because it's really good? Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you get a different fish or something? I've tried different fish. You know, it's a whole lot of different ones, right? I know, honey. Oh, no, not the stairs. But you know <laughs> 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 Uh, I got an elevator right there. His wife said the stairs. Too lazy. His wife said the stairs. Too lazy. I would have been right on that elevator. <laughs> oh no, not the stairs. That's my new saying. So, no oh, new fish? Goodness, honey. Remember the last time we went out, I got the swordfish from Jalen Xander. I mean, you and Leslie went. Listen, this is Rita's thing. It's not even just about the salmon in general. Rita likes to look for one of the most expensive items on the menu, and then she just adds that to her salad. Not true. Whatever the most exotic fish is on the menu, she'll add that to her salad. And we cool with that, it's okay. Love costs. Listen, don't <laughs> think for one second that it's not transactional, even when you get married, even when you love each other. This is why, even though women don't want to admit it, that marriage is a business. Relationships are transactional. 1,000%. She says she's going to stick around if I lose everything, and I very much believe her, but is she going to be happy? Absolutely not. It's, is, <laughs> are the things going to be good? Is the pom-pom going to be just as sensational for her? Probably not. You know why? Because she's not in her femininity 1,000% because she got to go and eat 
tacos out the garbage can tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh my goodness. Marriage is a business. I'm not even gonna say nothing. Hey honey, what are you gonna order? I'm gonna order the barbecue shrimp cob salad. But no shrimp. I'm gonna get that <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get the barbecue shrimp cob salad, no shrimp, add salmon. I know my chick, bro. I had that uh, lettuce wedge, which was really, really good. But what really slapped was that asparagus. Oh my God, that might have been the best asparagus. I don't know how they seasoned it, but it definitely had that good butter on it. That solid butter, but it was so good. And I feel full. Maybe it was from the water and then from that one Corona that I had, but it was really, really good. I'm about to head up here and do this show really quickly and spend about an hour taking care of that and then we gonna hit the streets right after, so. You know me, I'm gonna always give my best performance no matter how, what platform I go on, so it's gonna be pretty good. So right now I'm at uh, what they call Ebor City and it's like a New Orleans style vibe. Um, and that is, it's pretty busy out here. It's a lot of people, it's vibes. As you can see, everything is going on all around me. This is spot, yo. There's a lot happening. And uh, Rita's obsessed with cigar bars and all that other type of stuff. So we gonna jump out the car. We gonna see what's happening. I see a lot of places with a lot of security. And uh, there's plenty of chicks with the streets out here. I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna see it. I'm not gonna sing it. You know what they for. We just gonna see what's happening, we gonna play it by here. So when we was at the restaurant, was that yesterday? Yeah. That was yesterday? I think we'll probably wind up crossing the street. Come on, really. So when we was at the restaurant yesterday, when we was at the restaurant yesterday, um, at the Daily Eat spot, we wind up kicking it with a girl that was telling us, giving us some game on where it is that we needed to be when we wanted to really start an experience in nightlife, right? And so right now, this is the result of it. This is Ybor City. I hope I'm saying that right, but Ybor City. As you can see, a lot going on all around here. It's literally like a duplicate of New Orleans. Funny enough, Rita was just talking about it the other day. Who was you talking to when you were saying that you didn't want to... Um... Talking about it on the show. Oh, on the show. Oh, yeah, somebody called into the show. So somebody called into my after-hour spot. It's your spot, Rita, your cigar spot. Somebody called into the after hours show and was just telling us how they was heading to New Orleans. And Rita was like, yo, I don't really rock with New Orleans anymore because it's just too dirty. And then here we are, right in Ebor City. That's an exact reflection of that. What do you think so far, honey? Well, you experienced New Orleans and all of its glory. Like you was outside of it, you walked around the voodoo shops. It's a lot of craziness going on. I mean, it's it's everything. It's black, white, it's gay, um, straight, all of that, yo. It's just, it's a bunch going on, as you can see. I'ma just let it talk for itself. And this strip is long too. It literally looked almost identical except for a little bit cleaner and you can actually drive through the streets of New Orleans oh that's dope bro nah you try you, you, you trying to kill me bro no nope. no I appreciate it though not today not with all white I'm an, I'm an angel today you see I got on my all white not today, but again, this place is, is literally like 
It's like New Orleans recreated. A lot of bars, a lot of clubs, a lot of everything. Yeah, it's, it's a lot going on. I, I'm not going to lie to y'all. And it just goes for blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks. So we'll be here as early. It's only uh, about 12 o'clock almost. So yeah, we'll be here uh, seeing what the vibes are. Enjoying life, keeping my head on the swivel as usual. I never get too comfortable. I don't care where I am, especially when I'm out of town. I never get too comfortable. They gotta move it. Oh, because they can put this on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just absolutely nuts out here. captain or none of that just let it go Rita get hit on all the time just let him talk and then when he realized that I was with Rita because Rita expressed it he came over he tried to make nice look it's cool I get it yo you trying to holler you trying to holler do your thing did a lot tonight hit the salsa bar hit the coffee shop um, heading over here to the cigar bar about to see what's popping in here it's a lot going on man so it seems like we're gonna be out here for for a while tonight get probably gonna get some late night eats later but uh, Rita's obsessed with uh, cigars. Rita act like an old white man. She genuinely acts like a old white man, bro. No cap, no exaggeration. I kid you not. So, an old white man is your spirit animal? What about the man, the men that's trying to talk to you all night? As soon as I walk away, they all over. Hey, I love that. For a lot of y'all guys, stop being so extra and jealous when other dudes try to talk to your chick, yo. That's a sign. That means that she's worth talking to. That, that's a good thing. Yo, would you prefer that nobody be interested in your chick at all, or would you prefer that everybody like her? It's a tale of two uh, situations that you don't want to be in one side of it. I promise you, bro. But yeah, it's... Uh, survive i had no idea about ybor city tampa the whole thing thankfully we're gonna be here for a bit longer so i can really really explore more and again y'all have seen me go through so many different cities yo so many different cities when i tell y'all y'all need to get out talk to people stop being on what is it yelp stop being on yelp and letting that determine what it is that you're gonna do or where you're gonna eat or where you're gonna vibe out or what you're gonna visit. Yo, talk to people that live here. Get out and participate. That is where you're going to have the best experiences, I promise you. 
cigar cultures go back hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, Fuente and Newman are some of the longest, uh, some of the oldest families that have rolled cigars. They're four and five generations. Yeah, I didn't know. So I just learned something new, ladies and gentlemen. The thing that I learned new today is that you don't inhale when you smoke a cigar. You enjoy the flavor without inhaling. So this is my first time even considering or being around my um, person that is supposed to be from a, a completely different generation. I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. I don't know who I'm married to. I don't know any of that. But I'm learning so much about cigars. <laughs> and I, I have a phenomenal host and gentleman that is educating us hey guys. And, and giving us so much insight and game on exactly what cigar culture is, what the cadence is, and everything like that. So. I appreciate you. Yeah, of course. And if really you guys want to follow us here at King Corona, we're on Instagram at King Corona Ebor. Yep. Uh, and our international plaza location also here in Tampa is at King Corona Tampa. We'll see everything. King Corona. Uh, we do come out with new blends uh, from different manufacturers, like the Opus blends. They come out twice a year. Uh, and also some other blends. We might change things up a little bit. We do have a great selection, not just cigars, but we have beer, wine, coffee, port, <laughs> sangria. And a full liquor bar as well. So come by and see us. We're looking awesome over there too. I appreciate you, fam. Of course, it's always my pleasure. But as you keep puffing it, it will smooth out, and then you'll experience the full array of the flavors. Every everybody's palate is different, so uh, this cigar can be a lot different to other people than it would to me. But a lot of the notes you get off of this with the wrapper, you get the creamy finish in the binders and fillers. You get those notes of oak and cedar with Nicaraguan tobacco, giving you those earthy tones as well. All right. Cheers, guys. Ask the bartender, let her know I started you a tap, and you guys are all set again. Are you from here? I've been here like three years now. How you like it? Where are you originally from? From uh, up north. Up north where? Right. This is my first time in Tampa. Really? I like it a lot better than Miami, bro. Really? Tampa is awesome, bro. Nah, I've been here since Wednesday, so we've been all around. You boys is dope. So nope, not. Probably go tomorrow. You gotta go. Yeah, I'm gonna go tomorrow. Great yeah, we gonna hit it tomorrow. You boys is like New Orleans, bro. You're in Tampa. Like that's how you stay away from Nah, this is, I love it. It's Cigar City. Yeah, it's a lot of cigar bars. I stepped out for uh, five minutes. We hit the cigar bar. We've been hitting club to club, bar to bar, all of the different spots. There's so much going on and so much happening that I decided to go ahead and end this right now, all right? So, I appreciate y'all for continuing to rock with me. Yo, it's absolutely nuts out here. It's uh, past two in the morning. And uh, it's like, everything is just now getting started. So, yeah, we gonna be out here. We gonna go ahead and party it up. And then uh, we gonna get right back to it tomorrow. New day, new opportunity to do great things, all right? So, I appreciate y'all. I rock with y'all. I love y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later, all right? Peace.